Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about application of RNAi in gene silencing. Though it is a part of RNA biology, we should study about RNA transcription, post-transcriptional modification and translation process at first. Without studying these parts, we will never understand this phenomenon. So let's start. This is the explanation of RNAi given in NCRT book. What does it say? Several nematode parasites, a wide variety of plants and animals including human beings. A nematode Melodigyne incognita infects the roots of tobacco plants and causes great reduction in yield. A novel strategy was adopted to prevent this infestation which was based on the process of RNA interference. RNAi takes place in all eukaryotic organisms as method of cellular defense. This method involves silencing of a specific mRNA due to complementary double-stranded RNA molecule that binds to and prevents translation of the mRNA, that means silencing. The source of this complementary RNA could be from an infection by viruses having RNA genomes or mobile genetic elements like transposons that replicate via an RNA intermediate. Using agrobacterium vectors, nematode specific genes were introduced into the host plant. The introduction of DNA was such that it produced both sense and antisense RNA in the host cells. These two RNAs being complementary to each other formed a double stranded RNA that initiated RNAi and thus silenced the specific mRNA of the nematode. The consequence was that the parasite could not survive in a transgenic host expressing specific interfering RNA. The transgenic plant thereof therefore got itself protected from the parasite. And this is the picture collected from NCRT biology book. In the left hand side we can see that the host uh, that the roots of typical control plants on the right hand side we can see the transgenic plant roots five days after deliberate infection of nematode but protected through novel mechanism next now we'll study it in more detail listen very carefully it is the schematic diagram of introduction of foreign dna or gene of interest through agrobacterium vector and here Ti plasmid is used to carry the gene of interest. It will incorporate into a wild type host plant and make it transgenic one. Next, we know that central dogma of molecular biology where protein is produced from its specific or respective single stranded mRNA by translation mechanism and mRNA is produced from DNA by transcription mechanism. So in this case, if we target the translation process of that nematode, it will die eventually due to scarcity of protein. So here we can see that the same mechanism will be done by siRNA molecule. siRNA is a part of RNAi. Actually from RNAi, we can get siRNA, miRNA and shRNA. What are the full forms of siRNA? siRNA means short interfering RNA, miRNA, microRNA, sh short hairpin RNA. From RNAi, we get this by enzymatic cleavage. These all are double stranded RNAs, which are very dangerous for the cell because they target the specific genes of RNA and inhibits the gene expression. RNAi can be found in both prokaryotes and in eukaryotes. Here it is applied in plant biology or plant biotechnology. Now see, a specific double stranded DNA is introduced into the host plant cell through agrobacterium vector. From this double stranded DNA, a double stranded RNA will originate combining both sense and antisense RNA which are produced through transcription of that double stranded DNA. This double-stranded RNA then cleaves by dicer. Dicer is a RNA's 3 endonuclease into multiple 20 to 25 base pairs long SI RNAs. 
nematode ingest this siRNAs through their stylet and this siRNAs entered their cell. Then this siRNAs bind with risk complex means nematode risk complex and this risk complex unzips this short double stranded RNAs into single stranded RNAs and this SS siRNAs bind to specific gene of the nematode's RNA and silence the gene expression or protein synthesis. Next, here we can see how sense and antisense RNAs are produced from the both strands of that specified DNA that means double stranded DNA introduced by agrobacterium vector. Next, now we can see that this DSRNAs produced from that DSDNA is modified or cleaved by DICER which is a one type of RNAs3 endonuclease and this double stranded RNA or double stranded SH short hairpin RNA is converted into double stranded siRNA. Now nematodes ingest this siRNAs through their stylet and they will enter into their cells. After entering into their cells, these siRNAs are processed by risk processed by risk system of nematodes RNAi system. Listen, this risk belongs to nematodes RNAi system. Here we can see AGO or argonaut. AGO or argonaut, what is AGO or argonaut? It is an essential component of the RNA induced silencing complex or risk. After that, this risk unzips the double stranded siRNA and make it ssRNA molecule. Then it binds with or targets the specific genes or complementary nucleotide sequences present in the nematode's RNA and it will clips or silences that part of RNA only. This is the second picture of RNAi mechanism. Both are same actually. Next, here we can see how siRNAs are ingested and processed inside the root knot nematode and how siRNA targets the nematode's RNA. Now, extra information. You can study these following slides for more detail. I hope that you will understand the previous slides and please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.